Hello and welcome to another Xenotic dual casting commentary majiggy thingy. Today we've got Wolf Snipe, who we have the POV of, versus STDI. Uh, over on Blood Run. So we're going to be starting off with Wolf Snipe at the Mega. He's going to get both major items. That's an incredibly good position for him. He plays just the right place to not go in for that and get hit, really, for quite a lot of damage. And getting a beautiful double frag there. Right off the spawn. That's going to put him in a very good position right now. He's got both the items. The second item's coming up just in a minute. Or just in a few seconds, really. He's going to do a lot of damage now. He's going to back out. He's going to want to go for this armor. He's going to go for the health first, actually. Thought he'd go for the armor when he went up, but that's probably going to help him, really. Faking out his opponent. Now heading the other way. Needs to go for the armor now, though. Otherwise, he is going to lose it. He's going to lose it. But STDI doesn't really have the best of weapons at this current moment in time, but he could still go down. Wolf Snipe goes down. A little bit of damage. 4-1 to one the scoreline, though. He's got a very good lead right off the start of this. And now Wolf Snipe going to be just hopping around a little bit. Gets a very nice shot off right down through the map. And now just hiding in this corner. I'm not quite sure what the tactic is here. Grabs the Devastator. Going to be running in. Not managing to get any hits off and going to go down right there. STDI putting in a hell of a lot of good shots. Beautiful necks. Wolf Snipe really can just hit a hell of a lot of shots in this game. Going to be picking up a little bit more ammo. And potentially denying STDI the ability to grab the item. Quite long respawn times in this game, especially on this map. So, picking that up could be a good position for Wolf Snipe. Gonna go down at the Mega Fight. I'm gonna lose the Mega, in fact. STDI definitely pulling this one back up. And now Wolf Snipe. Look, he grabs a shot and he runs away. Amazing play right there, managing to get a lot of damage done. But he does lose the Mega. He must have been hoping that STDI was low enough that he could get the kill in. Spamming over, but not connecting with any of that. Doesn't even stop STDI pulling through the Mega Armor. Now up, STDI. 5-4 to four now. Wolf Snipe's going to need... Grabs the armor. Can't connect with any of his Crylink. Only gets 3 damage there. 4 damage there, not a lot. Not pulling out a lot of damage, not managing to quite get the shots that he needs. Beautiful rocket right to the face of STDI. And now Wolf Snipe should be able to get back a little bit of control. We're three minutes into this game. Both players definitely have this one frag in it. And STDI with control of the map again. Trading it a little bit, losing it. Not particularly fully losing the control of the map to Wolf Snipe when he lost a couple of items. And in fact, probably was definitely worth him not doing that. He does go down though, despite having that full map control. Just couldn't quite compete with the raw shots, accuracy and power. Wolf Snipe knowing you saw he turned around there. Then he heard the connection of his rocket. He recognised that he hit the rocket and he knew he needed to push in to get the kill. Couldn't quite connect with anything. Didn't quite punish enough for that mega health, uh, mega armor being taken, but does grab the mega health. And now flying around this map. Using the blaster to its full advantage. 7 to 4 the scoreline. 4 minutes into this game. And Wolf's not going to be spamming. He's going to be trying to bait his opponent to come around this corner. Both players spamming at each other. Wolfsnipe goes for the run, but STDI on the correct side of that wall grabs it. But I think they're both... No, they didn't. Only Wolfsnipe went down in that fight. STDI grabbing that mega armor in the midst of it all. Wolfsnipe's now going to have to look out. Almost gets hit by his own grenade there. But he's got the best spam weapon of all, the Electro. Incredible spam weapon, as you can see, does an insane amount of damage when you lay those little electrical mines and then you let them off 
Like Wolf Snipe just did for around 85 damage. Very low on health though. Gonna need to scoop a couple of health bubbles. This map quite generous with the health bubbles actually, with the 25s. And Wolf Snipe goes down. Health is up. He's going to jump on the head of STDI, who's going to go down to the ground, but does manage to pick up the mega arm, uh, mega health. Goes down to a nice bit of machine gun. <laughs> one shot, if he could have hit that with the rail, that one shot with the rail, he would have been much better off right now. But as it happens, he only hits one shot with the machine gun. Probably about eight damage. Impressive to have hit it though. Doesn't want to go into his own electrical ball. You can still take damage from your own electrical balls. Even if they're not set off by the primary fire. Getting knocked up and that electrical ball going absolutely flying. And now Wolf Snipe playing it very slowly. He knows that his best position is just to play it slowly for a couple of minutes. He doesn't want to play it too slowly obviously. Because if he plays it too slowly then he's going to give STDI... The run of the map is going to give him the items, and STDI will then be able to just push Wolf Snipe. But Wolf Snipe now pushing. This is where he's got to make it. And he knows where STDI is going. He knows what he needs. STDI going to be able to make the shot. And now Wolf Snipe We're on the run again. He's got a slightly better position this time. But only just. Going to both get into another fight in this corridor. That corridor, about half the kills, I reckon, at this point in the game. Or at least a hell of a lot of the fights, even if they weren't particularly kills by the end of it. The Crylink collected. It's at least a little bit of ammo in the reserve of that Vortex. Gonna drop down, just avoids it, gets a beautiful rail off. Can't quite connect with the second one. Three minutes left on the clock. Wolf Snipe. No more the advantage, in fact. I didn't notice the game has been tied up. It's 8 to 8. Wolf Snipe needs to push in on this one. Needs to grab some more of the items. Doesn't know what the timings are. We haven't got that information. Wolf Snipe heading through. TDI. He's pushing. Wolf Snipe's going to be circling the map. STDI must be doing the same. But from what Wolf Snipe's taken, I would have said STDI has got a lot less stack right now. Although, I do think STDI might have got the Megas. Wolf Snipe just waiting there, just listening. And he hears it taken. But STDI is quick out of the gate. Wolf Snipe going to have to capitalise on this. Going to be difficult. Gets a beautiful shot off with the next. Lands a little bit of rocket. And a beautiful exit. Is he going to get the frag? He manages to get the frag. An absolutely beautiful trap there. Launching himself up to the top. Gets up to the top. Finds where STDI is going to come out. And now STDI. He's bashing. Wolf Snipe goes down. He's tied it back up. STDI now with nine frags. Wolf Snipe with nine frags. We've only got less than a minute and a half left on this game and neither player, because the frags came so thick and fast, neither player particularly has any stack, neither player particularly has any weapons. So both hunting, waiting in little areas like this. Wolf Snipe knows it's not about winning in 10 minutes. It's about winning whenever the game ends. If this is a tie one at the end of these minutes. 10 minutes, in one minute, if we are still tied, the game will add two minutes extra to the clock and play will continue right now STDI is pushing Wolf Snipe has got 30 he's not going to get telefragged there those black boxes are where you need to stand if you want to get telefragged so also known as the places you don't want to stand because you'll get telefragged 30 seconds left on the clock. Neither player wants to push in because neither player wants to just lose. STDI actually pushing in just as I say that. He proves me wrong. Wolf's not going to grab the armor. 
As TDI isn't able to capitalise. Wolfsnipe hits himself slightly. Is he going to be able to, in the last 15 seconds, make a shot? He doesn't have the Devastator. He would have wanted that at this point in time. You can curve rockets in this game. It would have been a great help for him. STDI pushes in. Who's going to take it? One last second. It's going to go to overtime. We have two minutes more of overtime. And now Wolf Snipe. He got the kill though. Wolf Snipe's got one extra kill. I didn't see that as the overtime came in. Wolf Snipe picked up a kill. It was just too late. Must have been tenths of a second. It's got to be slightly frustrating to have not won it. Very nerve-wracking that you were just half a second. But you have to carry on because you have control in that moment. And your opponent is basically just incredibly shocked that they, they died. They thought you uh, they thought you were done. A beautiful air shot there from Wolf Snipe. Got a minute and ten left on the clock. He's got two frags to lead. He should be able to get another one right here. But he might not entirely want to. He's not going to push it too hard. Not going to even grab that. Knows that the 100 is coming up soon. It allows STDI to grab a little bit more. And 45 seconds left. Wolf has got to be careful. He's only got 17 health. Why is he pushing in here? Loses a frag, but he's going to delay spawn. Does fire now. Fi oh! STDI's tied it up. 30 seconds left on the clock. Wolf Snipe completely out of position. He's been playing defensive for the last two minutes, pretty much. And STDI has been playing on the high offensive, picking up as many weapons as he can. STDI has a lot of weaponry, a lot of armor, a lot of health. Wolf Snipe goes the wrong way around there. Doesn't quite pick up the item. He's got a good stack though, but he hasn't got the weapons to really back up this stack. He's going to get a kill. Five seconds left on the clock. That's going to have to be GG. 12 to 11. Incredibly close game. Going into overtime. Well played to both of these two incredible duelers. Thank you for sending that in, Wolf Snipe. Thank you for playing STDI. Wow, that was a hell of a game. Uh, yeah, send in some demos, especially if you've got a demo like that. Please send it to me. I'm on IRC. There's various ways to actually get the file over to me. Just ping me on IRC, MX Cam, and we'll see. Wow. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.